guys today I'm going to be showing you how I do my own fake nails and nail gels but I also want to remind you should you have any problems make sure that you see a certified nail technician whether you're just trying to get fly for the holidays look good for your boo or for yourself or if you just like that clicking noise that nails make when they touch your phone mm -hmm. then this is the tutorial for you so guys the type of nails that I like to use are called Markart nails and I found them on Amazon years ago and I started using them they're only about $6 99 a bag and I like them because they come labeled in sizes and also the shape of the nails is really nice and easy to work with. As far as my base coat and top coat for the gel polish I love the gelish line you get a lot of wear for the money and it lasts for a long time. I also love the bond aid by OPI because I put it on the nail before I apply the fake nail because it gets the water out and dehydrates it so that the nail stays on longer. So I'm going to be using a polish I found on sale at Sally's Beauty Supply called Alluring Azure by ASP but it seems to be sold out everywhere so down below I've placed links to polishes that are pretty similar. Today I'll be using my OPI lamp for curing or drying the nail gel. If you're looking to use just regular polish a great dupe I love is the simple colors why not. As a regular top and base coat I love the Sechet Vite clear line. You can find all the links to these in the info section. You'll also want to use some nail cutters or scissors. For my glue choices I love the Kiss brush on version and also the Beauty Secrets by Sally's Beauty. These are two of the best that I found and I sometimes just mix them up a little bit. You'll need some acetone but also some at least 91% rubbing alcohol. Because I often do a little manicure before I get started I always get a little cuticle remover, the cuticle trimmers and also a really good brand nail file. I use the kind from Sally's Beauty. You may need a nail buffer to ensure your nails are smooth as well. You'll want to keep some cotton balls or cotton pads and q-tips for mess ups. So I also own a small UV lamp of my own because I travel so much. I'm going to be giving one away that's much like it to a lucky subscriber. So check the info section of this video to find out how you can win one. To prepare my nails I take some of the cuticle remover, pour it into a bowl and allow my fingers to soak. This stuff is great and gets the excess cuticle off but I remove the rest with my cuticle trimmer. I then buff the nails just lightly especially where they're not smooth. Any raggedy edges of my nails are also handled with the nail file. Now it's time to figure out your nail sizes and go ahead and size your fingernails up. I like to make sure that my nails are already aligned and ready before I begin the application process so I'm not digging in bags with these long nails. And this is simply how I line them up once I've picked them out. Before you begin the application process I recommend making sure that your hands have been cleaned thoroughly and leave them dry Dry. Don't put lotion or oil on them so that the nails stick perfectly. Now I take the brush on nail glue and I brush it thoroughly all over the whole nail trying to avoid the cuticle or my skin. I then take a dab of the Beauty Secrets nail glue and I make sure that it's all over the nail as well. I take the nail, push it down to press out any air to keep any air bubbles out so that the nail stays longer. Any excess nail glue I try to make sure I get it off of my fingers and the cuticle. You might get a little on there but you can get that off later don't worry too much about that this process is just a little bit messy now you just keep on repeating baby so now using your cutters and also your scissors you're gonna go ahead and cut your nails at an angle. I like mine to have a little bit of a point but you can also round these out just how you like or continue with the same shape of the original nail. I'm gonna make these a little bit more pointy, a little more vampire-y, a little more stiletto-ish. So I'm cutting it to a point. I then use the nail cutter to clip off the very tip or the pointed tip just so it's easier for me to file it down. And now it's time to bust out the file. If yours is a little bit more dull, run it under lukewarm water and it'll sharpen right back up. So filing takes a bit of time, but be patient. You can't add on nail once you've cut it or filed it off. So be very careful to file it the way that you want it to look in the end. I try to start with the shape I want and just work my way in to the shape I want in the very end instead of trying to get that off the bat. I'm probably gonna have to file for a while in order to get that perfectly rounded but pointed shape. In the end, pull out any loose 
snail shavings from underneath the nail. And there's the shape of my nails for you. And now you'll simply repeat the same process on the other hand. And now you'll take your foundation for the gel polish or your regular nail polish. Go ahead and do your base coat. I like to make sure that it's a thin layer, not too thick at all, because you don't want the nails to get too messy. You'll simply repeat this process across all of your nails. I recommend only handling one hand at a time, especially when you're doing your nails yourself, because it's easy to get both hands messed up if you're not just focused on one. And now it's time to cure your nail polish. I'm just gonna set the timer for 60 seconds. Now that my base coat is down, I can now go in with my desired color for the first layer. Be very careful when painting this, either with regular polish or with this gel polish. You wanna make sure that it's a thinner coat because you're gonna do another coat of polish. Also make sure that you keep your cuticles pretty clean during this process because you don't want the polish to get caked up around the cuticle area. And now you'll cure for another 60 seconds. And now you're ready for the second layer of polish, either if it's regular polish or your gel polish. But notice how the color becomes more vibrant with that second coat of paint. Again, keep those cuticles clear and clean because you don't want the polish to get caked up around them. And now you'll cure it again for another 60 seconds. And finally, it's time for your top coat. You're gonna follow the same rules here, keep it really thin, but make sure that you're sealing off the ends of your nails to make sure that the gel stays on these nails. Because they're not your real nails, you're not gonna be able to feel when the gel is lifting, so it's just nice to make sure that you sealed off the edge of each one of these nails. So just be very careful with the paint and make sure that it makes it all the way around the nail. And now of course you'll cure the nails for the last 60 seconds. And now only with the nail gel you'll need the 91% rubbing alcohol. You want to make sure you take it across all the nails to get all the sticky junk off of your nails because after you put gel on and cure it, it's sticky. And there's your finished product. But I like to take some cuticle oil, put it on my cuticles, and rub off the excess glue or any excess leftover debris from the nails. And there you have it beautiful nails okay guys one thing I'm gonna tell you to do is invest in some gloves a lot of times when you're doing household chores and other things like the dishes or dusting you're risking that you might get moisture under the nail beds which will cause the adhesive or any kind of glue that you're using to come apart from your nail and come apart from your fake nail so you want to invest in that I put some links down below to some that I recommend and that I use have a little practice time if this is your first time wearing fake nails you might want to take them down a little bit because I'm gonna tell you the first time I tried to go real long I went to go hit something and the nail popped off and I was out there bad you don't want to do that make sure you kind of take some time to practice and grow yourself up to having the longer nails if you're not used to having long nails don't use super glue super glue is not formulated for your nail bed nail glue is realistically these nails should last you about a week to a week and a half depending on how hard you are on your hands I'm pretty hard on my hands so I really don't expect them to last that long I end up having to do my nails at least once a week and I usually give myself a break every now and again hopefully you all enjoyed it if there's any other video ideas or comments or questions or anything else that you have for me let me know below make sure that you guys enter into my contest with the contest information down below in the info section of this video the links to everything I talked about today is down below including the gloves the dupes everything that you need thanks so much for watching guys beautiful brown baby doll peace